This video shows how to replace a faulted 4-port card in a power store system. Before you begin, make sure that you have read all safety precautions on handling replaceable units, such as using electrostatic discharge wristbands or gloves. Refer to the Power Store Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering down the node. First, we need to determine which component has faulted. To do this, Log on to the PowerStore Manager and click Hardware. Under Appliances, click the appliance that contains the faulted component. On the Details page for the appliance, click the Hardware card. And then click the Review tab. Use the left navigation pane to drill down and locate the faulted component. You can also hover over and click the component highlighted in the Review Enclosure image on screen. At this point, power down the node. The power down procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering down the node. Once the node has been powered down, label and disconnect any cables that are attached to the embedded module. The full port card is located within the PowerStore embedded module, so you must remove the embedded module to access it. Push the orange tab to release the lever. Pull the release lever and remove the embedded module from its slot. Start by removing any inserted SFPs from the front of the embedded module. Then, push down on the two blue tabs on the back of the four port card to release it. Lift the card straight up off the pegs and away from the embedded module. At this point, you can replace the four port card. Align the card in the embedded module so the ports on the front of the card line up with the slots in the front of the embedded module. Then align the white pegs with the holes on the card. Gently push down on the card until it is fully seated on the pegs. Then push the blue tabs to lock the card into place. Remember to install any SFPs you may have removed from the 4-port card. When the new 4-port card is in place, you can reinstall the embedded module. When the embedded module is fully seated, push the release lever all the way back into the system until the orange tab locks into place. Then, reconnect the cables you removed earlier. Finally, power the node back on. The power-up procedure depends on whether the component is in a PowerStore T model appliance or a PowerStore X model appliance. Refer to the PowerStore Power Down and Reboot Procedures Guide for more information on powering up the node. At this point, we need to verify the replacement. In PowerStore Manager, go to the hardware card for the appliance. The status of the replacement component should now appear as healthy. If the status still appears as faulted, wait a few minutes and refresh the PowerStore Manager screen. If the status does not change, ensure that the component is correctly seated, or call your service provider. You've just replaced a faulted full port card. For detailed instructions on replacing this or other components, refer to the PowerStore documentation at dell.com forward slash PowerStore docs.